Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check fresh kit from CMK. As usual you can read detailed review oh, with a link in the video description below. Click it and you will find their text in English and Russian and of course detailed photos. As you can see this is a figurine kit which is more than 35 scale and it copies World War II US Army soldier with army bazooka this is actually a simple bazooka and M1A2 from 1944. So this is a resin set as I said before. As you can see package is typical for this manufacturer CMK. Uh, we can see all components through the transparent box. On the back side we have some safety advices and as usual it's sealed with paper clip. So give me a second to open it. I will need a debonder in order to remove this paper clip because otherwise it's a bit painful process and all you know how I like those paper clips I mean I'm a big fan of them uh, just give me a second okay so actually a uh, whole box disassembles like this then you flip it over again slide out and here you can see painting manual for the soldier and you can guess the position it will be depicted in and here you can see parts map so there are in total six parts which should be assembled together by the way check here you have um, new figurines from CMK also molded in 35 scale as for the parts I want to start with body which is molded together with wax I will zoom in and as you can see, molding quality is really impressive, I would say. Attachment points again to the base are well thought. You can even leave it like this so that you can manipulate it like this while painting. It's quite a nice solution, I would say. Uh, of course, uh, it is easy to notice that hands are molded separately. And they're press shaped. And as you can see, all hands, all palms are actually holding to something. So you won't be able to change it, of course. Then we have head, which is also placed on the separate base. It is molded together with helmet. Some modelers might not appreciate it because they would prefer helmet to be molded separately. But we have what we have. And again, the position of the base, of the resin base, is well thought because again, you can manipulate it easily like I do at the moment. And of course, bazooka. It is molded on the separate plus, uh, resin base and attachment points are quite thin so there shouldn't be any problem with separating it off the base. As you can see molding quality is still impressive. So that's all for this video review. It's quite small but useful uh, set for your diorama. Maybe with tank, maybe just with landscape or streetscape. Um, I will be happy to hear your opinion in the comment section below, write it there, I will discuss it with you of course. And don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel, you will help us greatly and I will appreciate it of course. I will see you in the next video review as usual, bye!